An update today, Humane Society officials told us just how those dozens of dogs and cats rescued from a Topeka home are doing. We also found out what you should do if you suspect animal abuse in your neighborhood. 13's Madison Bickley is in the newsroom tonight. Madison, what did you find out? Melissa, I spoke with the Humane Society of the United States who is caring for the animals at an undisclosed location. They said the animals got a good meal, fresh water, and a good night's rest and are now receiving the veterinary care that they need. One by one Tuesday, Humane Society workers and first responders led dog after dog and carried cat after cat from a central Topeka home. Burnout is a real thing and um, unfortunately not everything is so easy. There's always so many steps, um, but at the end of the day, it's worth it. Like things like yesterday, um, you know, we just got to make sure that we look at the bigger picture and remind ourselves on why we do this. Topeka police say the animals found in a home near Southwest 15th and Fillmore had no access to food or water and lived in filthy conditions. They took out 73 alive and found another 18 deceased. Jessica Bowers with Topeka Animal Control says it's important to pay attention to what's going on around you and don't be afraid to speak up. All of a sudden the house smells bad or you can, you know, hit that, you know, that area or that block or knock on the door. Um, and it's something that you've not noticed. That's definitely something to report. If a dog is, you know, healthy and you see the dog going outside often and then all of a sudden it's declining, it's, you know, not acting as energetic, it's losing weight, things like that, you can definitely call that in. Any recent changes, just paying attention to the neighborhood. Um, if someone's tethering their dog more than usual, if you haven't, you know, seen the normal activity of um, certain people go in and out of the house, those are definitely things that you can report. Helping Hands Humane Society Communications Coordinator Emmy Grease says they aren't caring for any of the animals found Tuesday, but she has seen how people speaking up can save an animal's life. If you notice a dog with no shade and no water out in a yard by themselves for too long or they're extremely emaciated or have sores that aren't being treated, just call animal control and hopefully they can check on the animal and get them help if they need it. Bauer says the community is the eyes and ears for these animals and you can always report anonymously. If you see something, say something. I mean, I would rather, you know, us all go to a call where, you know, everything's good to go, everything pans out to be okay, then, you know, walk up on a situation where it's not. The Humane Society of the United States told me many of the cats are suffering from ear mites and upper respiratory infections. One dog even has both eyeballs ruptured and another is suffering from pneumonia. Two people were arrested in connection with animal cruelty under Kansas law. The potential penalty if convicted is up to one year in prison on each count. Any formal charges are not yet filed. We'll stay on the developments, Madison. Thanks for the update.